of some Pokemon stuff I got. So when it comes to Pokemon, of course, one crashed down. So all of these are full of either V's, V Maxes, or full arts. Um, so a lot, a lot of. As you can see, or you can't because I put it down, but this is the Pikachu one. Like, nothing but Pikachu cards in here. Um, but, yeah, so, I'm organized like that. And then lastly, for the Pika for the Pokemon, I think I did a video just like this maybe like four months ago. So, if you guys have watched that, you guys have really seen my collection grow. Definitely grown. So this is a random box, but I just have a ton, a ton of cards like this, like just unlimited old cards. And a lot of people are like, those are junk, whatever, whatever. But I feel like just in the years to come, they're just going to be worth a couple dollars a piece. And when you have hundreds and hundreds of them like me, I mean, again, you can't just go to the store and buy these. Like you have to know someone that has them, vice versa. So when cards go out of print, it's always, you know, so I'm holding on to those. So that's about it for the Pokemon and Marvel. Now let's get into one of these. This is like a junk slab bag, but honestly, not all junk slab. It's just because I have so many cards, but I'll just give you a little taste. Like LeBron James, 2006 Tops, Christian Yelch, some random stuff. Let's see. Yeah, like Miles Sanders got game, LaMelo Ball, and some mystery slab. Uh, I have a lot of slabs like these, these ISA ones. <laughs> I've showed them to dealers, they scoff at them. I told them I'd be better off just uh, taking the, like, ripping the slabs out. This Serena Williams was a good play for me. Um, I bought this, uh, I heard she was going to retire, and I got this for $20 graded. And um, I think last time I checked, they were selling for like 100 So that's cool. This is the first card I ever bought at a card show. I just thought it was cool how there was a jersey right there. Um, so pretty cool card but that's kind of the taste of the cards that are in there like joe burrow rookie like again cards that i feel like would be easy to move but not worth like a crazy amount of money so now we'll get into the chest so these are all slabs more slabs um you know just a lot of random stuff but like i said a lot of them are players that you know move you know pretty easy like Mello, uh, curry kobe um got an auto of jose consenco i actually tried to almost have the whole set of these cards i'm missing the the curry because i was just playing on getting the curry and i thought it'd be cool to have the other ones so brandon jennings people forget brandon jennings in his heyday was a beast but rookie donovan mitchell so that's probably gone up since since I bought it. So LeBron James, rookie. So a lot of stuff like that. And I'm not gonna open up the other drawer, but the other drawer is very similar. So let's go through these. I don't really have them organized that well. Like a lot of Lamelo Ball rookies, just regular rookies, nothing too crazy. Um, baseball stuff. A lot of jerseys and autos. This Clyde Drexler over here is out of ten. It's cool. Um, yeah, but those are all jerseys and autos. All of these are. And this is my LeBron James rookie. There's some D Wade's and Chris Bosh's in here because I think they're all like connected. But and a uh, Carmelo. But yeah, just all a bunch of you know top prospect Browns diary. This is the one that's actually, this one's a cool looking one, but I'll find the one that's actually worth, this one's a second year card, but very cool, he's holding the MVP trophy. This one's worth quite a bit, I think like 600 rookie, but so that's like the LeBron rookie drawer, ungraded stuff, mainly ungraded because it's from when I was a kid, and when I was a kid, I would just play with cards, did not try to keep them in good condition. So I have Anthony Edwards, Prison Base. Man, they don't make cards like this, and I wish they still did. They're so cool. It's a piece of a ball. Stefan Marbury. For you younger guys, people forgot how Stefan Mar Marbury was the man for a while. He was the man. And I have a lot of these random Leaf cards that are not worth crap, but 
I bought it mainly because the hobby box is like the only thing affordable, but you get what you pay for, right? And what happened to this guy? So, Fambo Zhang, he was getting like, uh, people were saying, he's the best player in China, and he's coming, he's going to make a splash and all this and that. So, I bought like two of his cards, and I have not heard a peep of this Fambo Zhang, whatever happened to him. But, yeah, just random. Like, this is uh, Tony Kukuk out of, what was it? Out of 35, Crown Royale, Luka Doncic, home, Hometown Heroes, got a rookie card, Jason Tatum, and I got a bunch of these for super cheap. They're just, um, these come out of National Treasures, um, out of 99, and they're actually game used, which is super surprising for National Treasures. And uh, what's crazy is this, this is my hometown, Cedar Rapids, and Mike Trout played for the Colonels before he went pro. So I have a bunch of his rookie cards, like rookie before he was a rookie. These are Cedar Rapids Colonels. I have, there's three different variations. I have the three variations graded and I also have a couple non-graded. This is a TTM through the mail. Pretty cool. So let's move on to the next. A lot more Luca and uh, Anthony Edwards in there, but kind of more just base stuff. Nothing too crazy. Fake Kabooms. I got these as a gift, and the person buying them didn't know they were fake. That's why I said, like, there's some predators on, on eBay, because, you know, they for, like, older people, I don't know what they're doing. could get easily tricked, but... And these were selling for, like, 60 bucks. Completely fake cards. It's insane to me. So, Tyrese Halliburton, hometown heroes. Ricky Williams, one of my favorite players growing up. Autograph. Man, remember how much flack he got for smoking weed? No, it's so accepted. Justin Jefferson, rookie. Vikings are my favorite team, man. I wish I could afford like a better card of him, but he's just so darn expensive. Here's a die cut of Tom Brady. So yeah, you get the gist. Let's move on to the next. Sorry if I keep blacking up here, but it's literally because I don't have a stand. I'm just kind of freestyling this. So this one, I think I overpaid for it, but it's a gaming used Kobe jersey and a Giannis Antetokounmpo game used jersey. And I paid 150, I probably paid like 125. I always try to get a little bit of money off of it, but it's Leaf. We got the rookie Kobe, and we got a bunch of random Kobe cards. Nothing too special. Pete Rose Auto, two of them. And this is that 101 Jeter I was talking about. 101, very cool patch. And uh, what's cool about this uh, Jersey Fusion card is you can scan the back of it and actually see what game the jersey was um, used on. And, and a picture of the actual jersey. So that's cool. Um, this is a out of 10. David Thompson Crown Royale. That's one of my favorite brands. Obviously because you guys know how I collect Kaboom. Got the Jason Tatum jersey out of 99. This is another 101. Too bad. She was number one uh, drafted female. Ryan Howard. She's a girl. Yes. 101. Um, but it does not go for much. Because she's a female unfortunately. Pete Maravich, random, but that's my mom's favorite player, so. And I have a ton of these My House cards. I'm not going to go through them all, but you guys get the, I probably have like 30 of them. I don't know. I think they're really cool and really cheap, so if you're on a budget and you're looking for some cool inserts, My House is a good way to go. Also, those Absolute Glass cards, I'm telling you guys, they grade like BGS 10s and BGS Blacks like half the time. These are really cool, and uh, this was an investment I lost money on, but I paid like like 70 for the top one and like 25 for the Donovan Mitchell, 25 for the, the Chris Paul. Just because I thought it was so cool. They were IDs and stuff, and it um, didn't pan out exactly how I'd like it. I'm sure if I got them graded, I could, you know, probably get the money I want out of it. Here's a Noir game used. Um, game used Tim Duncan, so that's cool. So let's go up a row. See what else we got. So, oh, this is super cool. I got this back the other day. I sent some cards for Shaq to autograph. Shaq rookie card he autographed. And he gave me these two cards for free. So three-time NBA Finals MVP. That card. And he also gave me this one. Another Shaq auto. And what was crazy about it is people are like, oh, he has fake autograph machine, blah, blah, blah. Well, Every card, the autograph's slightly different. You see how I put 34 in this one. This one doesn't have 34. I sent him um, a silver pen. And he used silver pen on this and the black on the other. So that just goes to show you that that's not a true rumor. 
There's a jersey underneath there. Now I know that he's actually a reliable signer. It took a couple months, but I'm thinking about sending this card to get signed too. A little bit more risky, but... Or this card. This is a dope card, I think, to get signed. But So this was another one of my first purchases at a card show. Jalen Suggs out of 10. Man, he tanks. He sucks, but that's my opinion. So Devonta Smith, I actually won this in a break. I never do breaks because I think they're a ripoff, but I did win that there. So this is, uh, I was working on this set. I want to complete it one day. Um, I forget what the set's called, but I only have like three of the cards, honestly. There's 10 of them total. They're, um, I think it's scoring leaders or scoring kings set. It just looks really cool, I think. This is one of the best cards I actually pulled out of a pack, I would say. Hold on, it just like came apart on me. It's like not in there snug. All right, here we go. So this, purple disco. It's only worth about like $40 raw, but graded, worth quite a bit. It grades well. Anthony Edwards, also pack pulled. And then, at least this guy's playing again. I got this for like $15, and it's out of 10 uh, game used jersey, so I was like, that's pretty cool, you know? I know it says 50, but it's a big deal online. I don't know why there's a 50 sticker on there, but so I also have a lot of these cards. There's only one example here, but Slam. You see Slam. Um, like I said, a lot of Zion rookies. Ooh, this is a good one though. This one's worth a lot of money because it's got the dead rapper in the back. So I apologize, I forget his name, but so that's a pretty expensive rookie that'll go up as the years go on too because i mean it's got the dead guy in the background you know some zion second year i got the pink on the way and also that bgs thing i just sent in for they lost my um i also sent in a pink um rookie zion williamson and they lost it um they had the other nine cards though but they didn't have that one so i had to go and rebuy it um which made me mad because I got the card when it was like at the bottom floor and no one was buying Zion. He's hurt, blah, blah, blah. So I had to pay a lot more for it, but I wanted the card, so I had to get it back. So I lost a lot of money on that. They compensated me, of course, at $20. Like, that's one thing that you should be able to do with um, grading companies. You should be able to insure your card so if they lose them, they have to pay the price of the, of the actual card. So random autographs. I used to buy a lot of mystery boxes, so Bob Feller and... Sean Coyle, autograph. It's more female basketball cards. Don't ask why I had them. They came out of a box. <laughs> Michael Porter Jr., huge fan. Actually, someone in my family personally knows him. That's why I have all these like crappy cards in here because he, I plan to have him sign them one day. I think that will definitely happen. So this is a Mac Jones jersey. I think it's numbered too. Yeah, numbered to 199. Too bad he sucks now. Here's one. I'm an Iowa Hawkeyes fan because I'm from Iowa. Um, he's got trade to the Vikings. So Hawkinson out of five. I bought this card for like 30 bucks. I couldn't believe a card out of five. I mean, the patch is cool as hell just because it's not a pro card, you know. Luca, I had to pick up Luca Garza, you know. I wasn't expecting him to tank so bad in the NBA, but his um, play just didn't transfer to. It was so great in college. He was so dominant, but. He's just not a shooter or a ball handler. And, and these days in the NBA as a big man, you have to be you have to be able to do all those things. You can't just be a big it just doesn't work anymore. But so I have this card. I got this for very cheap. Um Noir at a ninety nine. Pretty card. These cards would be easier to sell at my local shows because people, you know, are Hawkeye fans and you know, he brought the Hawkeyes a lot of good memories. Great player for the Hawkeyes. Didn't pan out in the NBA, but that's the case for a lot of Hawkeye players. <laughs> if you look at it, Keegan Murray is the first Hawkeye player I've ever seen actually start in the NBA. And uh, his brother dates um, my mom, someone she works with. Her daughter dates Chris Murray. So he's about to sign a bunch of stuff for me. First chance possible. But so, sorry, it's so hard to hold. All right, so Will to Win. This is out of. Ooh, out of out of 99 okay so this is a tom brady card second year second year random tom brady tom brady tom brady believe it or not this tom brady out of 99 goes for like damn near a hundred dollars and i picked it up in a break and i was honestly like upset when i picked it up because i just did not think it'd go for that much random 
horrible centering, but Larry Bird. Crazy how highly uh, regarded Larry Bird is, but if you go to his stats, like his all, he's not even. I don't even think he's in the top twenty-five for all-time scoring leader. So this is my Michael Jordan, and I also have some tall, tall cards in here, but nothing expensive. Just tall cards are pretty cool though, and I actually have cases for them, so it's cool. This I picked up. I was just like, man, uh, it looks good to me, so I was like, let's grade it and make some money. But I bought it from a card store, so. I usually feel like if card stars aren't grading stuff, there's a good reason for it. But nonetheless, pick that up. Here's another higher dollar one. Um, it's probably one of the highest dollar ones. That one, I need to grade that. And I have these cards that are so cool, so undervalued. Um, I just think they're really cool. Um, I have the Michael Jordan. I have um, Allen Iverson. And I think I have... oh. Spreewell. <laughs> Spreewell. And also we have here the metal set, Michael Jordan. I actually have the entire set. This is metal. I think this is metal universe. Yep, metal universe. I or have the entire set of metal, the ones where they made the red and green PMGs. Of course, I don't have any of the red green PMGs, but I have all of the other the cards in the set. I believe that that set is actually one of the most beautifully designed artwork sets that have ever came out. And these are Jordan cards I feel like should be worth a lot more. Um, <laughs> that Zipperman one. That one. That was actually a real card. I thought it was fake, honestly, at first. But these are the ones I think should be worth more. Just because they're so cool looking. And it comes with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. It's like a three card set. I have all three of them. Uh, the other one's great in this chest. but um, So yeah, I just it's like a $5, $10 card. But... To me, I, I've noticed a lot of these cartoonish cards have been going up in value, so I kind of think that might happen. Moses Malone, I know this is way off-centered, but actually, um, he's pretty high on the scoring list, has really great stats, so I mean, I'm surprised it goes for a little bit. Like I said, these are like all my like mid-tier cards, Like, and then behind me, these are all binders I have full of cards. Um, all the cards in here, I would say are like one to $5 to make it in there. Usually it has to at least be a, uh, auto, a Jersey, a significant rookie, something like that. Uh, yeah, but that's the video. That's kind of where I'm at with my collection right now. Let me know what you guys think about everything. I know it was a long video. So if you stuck to the end, kudos to you. Um, oh yeah, let me show you some of just, uh, oh, memorabilia. Yeah. So. I have this Kobe um, pitcher autographed. I bought this for like $250 um, years and years and years ago, probably about 2004. Uh, last sale I saw on this was for $5,500. And I actually added this purple border to myself and had it professionally framed, which cost me about $150. Bucks. Um, the normal one is like a lot. The frame's not nearly as nice. Um, and it's a lot uglier. I think the purple borders like makes it look so much better. But so that's one of them. I also have this Zach Johnson game used glove, and he's from Iowa, Cedar Rapids. So good collector's item. Also over here, I have a Shaquille O'Neal signed jersey, uh, signed jersey of Howard. Uh, what were they called? That five man squad on Michigan, the Bad Boys. You know what I'm talking about? Chris Webber and all them. He's a part of that. I won this in a raffle. He's a Hall of Famer. This is Hall of Fame 2012, but honestly, I have no idea who Rofe is. Uh, and then I have a Mount Castle auto. I don't know who he is either. I got that in like a mystery box. Um, but yeah, and then we'll shortly go over here, and these are just some of the boxes I've opened. When I mentioned earlier that I opened, uh, I pulled a PMG Green out of 10. Um, those are pulled out, not out of these, but the hobby boxes, which cost $500 and the odds are one in like 2000 packs almost. And I pulled one, um, just opening, uh, I went half on a box with someone else in the room and it was funny cause I got all the hits. He got none of them and I didn't share anything with him. <laughs> I don't care. Money's money, man. But yeah, these are some, uh, I don't really open hobby boxes. They're just too much of a gamble for me. Too much of a sweat. I almost forgot. So Dennis Robin signed jersey. Kind of weird. Uh, I never knew he played for the Lakers. Maybe he didn't, and someone made a Lakers jersey that he signed. That'd be kind of random, but 
So yeah, I was a huge fan of Dennis Robin growing up. I remember when I was a kid, I'd watch the games just to see what color he would dye his hair. <laughs> That's how interested I was. But anyways, uh, I'll close the video there. That's kind of what I got for everything in my collection. The last two videos should cover it for you guys. But let me know how I did. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're interested in any of these cards I showed off, um, these are definitely cards that I would sell, blah, blah, blah. So let me know what you think.